M1 Family The Apple Silicon journey began in November 2020 with the introduction of the M1 chip. This was Apple's first in-house processor designed for Macs, built on a 5 nanometer manufacturing process. At its core, the M1 had eight CPU cores divided into four high-performance cores and four efficiency cores. This hybrid design allowed the chip to deliver fast performance while using very little power, giving MacBooks long battery life without fans running constantly. The M1 also integrated an 8-core GPU, a 16-core neural engine for machine learning tasks, and Apple's first unified memory architecture, where the CPU and GPU shared the same pool of high-speed memory instead of separate modules. In 2021, Apple scaled the design into the M1 Pro. The Pro variant increased CPU performance by raising the core count to up to 10, with eight high-performance cores and two efficiency cores. Its GPU options ranged up to 16 cores, doubling graphics performance compared to the original M1. Apple also expanded memory support, allowing configurations up to 32 gigabytes of unified memory. That same year, the M1 Max pushed things further. While it kept the same 10-core CPU design as the Pro, it doubled GPU capacity to as many as 32 cores and increased memory bandwidth significantly. Unified memory support also rose to 64 gigabytes, making it a workstation-class chip for demanding users such as video editors and 3D artists. Finally, in 2022, Apple introduced the M1 Ultra. This chip was essentially two M1 Max chips fused together with a high bandwidth interconnect called UltraFusion. It offered up to 20 CPU cores, 64 GPU cores, and support for 128 gigabytes of unified memory. At launch, it was the most powerful Apple Silicon processor to date, M2 family. The next generation arrived in mid-2022 with the M2 chip. Built on an enhanced 5 nanometer process, it featured eight CPU cores in the same 4 plus 4 performance and efficiency layout as the M1, but with higher clock speeds and improved per-core efficiency. The GPU was expanded to up to 10 cores, giving around 25% better graphics performance compared to the base M1. Memory bandwidth also rose from 68 gigabytes per second to 100 gigabytes per second, and the maximum supported unified memory doubled to 24 gigabytes. The result was a balanced upgrade that extended Apple's lead in battery life and efficiency. In early 2023, Apple introduced the M2 Pro. This chip added more CPU power with up to 12 cores, eight high performance and four efficiency. Graphics options reached 19 GPU cores, while unified memory bandwidth doubled again to 200 gigabytes per second. The maximum supported unified memory capacity also increased to 32 gigabytes, making it ideal for heavier professional workloads such as Xcode compiling or multi-track audio editing. The M2 Max launched alongside the Pro version. It used the same 12-core CPU design but offered up to 38 GPU cores, with memory bandwidth raised further to 400 gigabytes per second. Unified memory support also increased to 96 gigabytes, giving creative professionals enough headroom for 8K video editing, 3D rendering, and complex visual effects. Finally, in mid-2023, Apple scaled the architecture once again into the M2 Ultra. As with the M1 Ultra, this was essentially two M2 Max chips connected with UltraFusion. It delivered up to 24 CPU cores, 76 GPU cores, and supported a massive 192 gigabytes of unified memory. The rumored M2 Extreme, with even more cores, never materialized. Reports indicated that Apple canceled it due to cost and complexity. M3 Family The M3 Family arrived in late 2023, marking Apple's transition to 3 nanometer manufacturing technology. This smaller process node brought significant efficiency gains and allowed Apple to raise performance without increasing power consumption. The base M3 chip kept the familiar 8-core CPU design with four performance cores and four efficiency cores, 
but each core was more powerful than in the M2. The GPU gained up to 10 cores, now supporting hardware-based ray tracing and mesh shading for the first time in Apple Silicon, greatly improving rendering and gaming performance. Unified memory bandwidth also increased to 150 gigabytes per second with support for up to 24 gigabytes of memory. The M3 Pro represented a bigger shift compared to previous generations. Instead of simply scaling the GPU, Apple rebalanced the CPU core layout. The M3 Pro featured up to 12 cores, but with six performance cores and six efficiency cores, rather than the heavier performance core ratio of the M2 Pro. GPU options reached 18 cores. Unified memory support rose to 36 gigabytes, with bandwidth at 200 gigabytes per second. This design gave the chip a unique balance, more efficiency cores for tasks like background processes, while still delivering strong overall performance for professional workloads. The M3 Max scaled things further. It featured up to 16 CPU cores, with 12 performance and 4 efficiency cores. The GPU configuration went as high as 40 cores, doubling graphics capacity compared to the baseline M3. Unified memory bandwidth expanded to 400 gigabytes per second, and memory support increased to 128 gigabytes. This made the M3 Max a workstation-class processor suitable for advanced 3D graphics, machine learning, and demanding video production. Notably, Apple never released an M3 Ultra. Instead, the company advanced directly to the M4 family before scaling the design to an Ultra level. M4 Family In May 2024, Apple introduced the M4 chip, first appearing in the iPad Pro before later moving into Macs. The M4 was built on a second-generation 3-nanometer process, delivering higher transistor density and efficiency. It featured up to 10 CPU cores with a mix of performance and efficiency cores and a redesigned GPU supporting up to 10 cores. This GPU carried forward hardware-based ray tracing and mesh shading, but with higher throughput compared to the M3 generation. The neural engine was significantly upgraded, capable of 38 trillion operations per second, making it one of the most advanced on-device AI processors at launch. Unified memory bandwidth was raised to 120 gigabytes per second, and configurations supported up to 24 gigabytes of memory. Later in 2024, the M4 Pro was released. This chip scaled the design to up to 12 CPU cores, featuring more performance cores for heavy workloads. GPU configurations reached 18 cores, and unified memory support extended to 36 gigabytes. The Pro variant balanced CPU strength, graphics power, and higher memory bandwidth, making it the mid-range choice in the lineup. At the same time, the M4 Max became the most powerful member of the family so far. It carried up to 16 CPU cores, with 12 performance and 4 efficiency cores. GPU options scaled up to 40 cores, and memory bandwidth rose to 400 gigabytes per second, matching and exceeding the prior M3 Max. Memory support reached 128 gigabytes, ideal for demanding professional users. Benchmarks showed the M4 Max competing with high-end discrete GPUs in creative workloads while still fitting into slim MacBook Pro designs. As of early 2025, no M4 Ultra has been announced. Apple may choose to release it later for the Mac Studio or Mac Pro, but currently, the lineup ends with the M4 Max. I made an awesome video about every Intel processors, so don't forget to watch it later, okay?